Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about cowboy belts. Cowboy belts, yes, cowboy belts, um, they only have one name, one brand, El Charro. El Charro is a brand that it's, ha you have to have it in your wardrobe. If you need to wear a belt, then it's El Charro belt. You can't have any other, any other brand, unfortunately. So it's one of the easy ones. It's a bit like the socks, they're only Burlington. For belts, you only want to wear El Charro belts. It's an historic brand, but thank God today you can still find, and we'll talk about that later. A little bit of history. El Charro is a brand that was born in Rome uh, from a genius called Marcello Murzilli, um, a guy who traveled a lot, um, Europe, but he ended up in the States. Especially when he traveled down to Central America, and in Mexico especially, he started finding a niche, a bunch of these items, hand-built, handmade, and hand-painted, from belts to accessories to boots. And it's with the boots that he started importing them into Rome, into his shop, that actually still exists today. Obviously, it's past hands, but uh, it's still in the original location. And this was a, a shop that had the interior of a saloon, and inside you could see rows and rows of different type of camperas, which were the the, the boots used by the the farmers in uh, in in Mexico. Um, and it's with that item that uh, Marcello started his uh, his. Uh, career as a brand builder really uh, because he started importing boots and then he made them to eventually into belts and from the late 70s we become we get into the early 80s the economic boom the Paninaro guys were uh, all over the, the El Charro brand uh, and that's why this became a staple piece I, I still remember very long queues outside the El Charro, the El Charro uh, shops where basically you could buy these belts or your boots that you have previously pre-booked. It, it was mad, it was really, really mad. Since with the beginning of the 90s, El Charro started uh, a lot of franchising in the late 80s uh, when they also purchased a shop in Italy. So, that's why these, these items were originally made by shots in the States. Uh, you will see in a minute this is made by El Charro. It's pretty much the same jacket of shots because they were importing the shots brand to Italy. There were a lot of licensees, so a lot of minor brands who started producing, I would say, very silly brand, very silly items um, with the El Charro brands. We're talking about perfumes, we're talking about um, accessories that were not, in my opinion, on brand, I would say. Um, but this was more towards the late, late 80s, beginning of the 90s. I would say that then the brand in the mid 90s was purchased by Paolo Vessella, who basically is trying or has been trying since the, the 90s to bring back to the old uh, glory this brand and definitely they are doing it with the belts so today you can still buy uh, pretty much the original design of all and there are a lot of them uh, belts like this one see this design is the belt i was wearing back in 1984 and i was like uh, i was tiny i was a skinny boy <laughs> uh, today, obviously, it's really hard to find on uh, Depop, on eBay. As a matter of fact, uh, what I'm wearing today is El Charro and uh, it's been found on eBay and on Depop. So still in the UK, if you're in the UK, you can still find quite here and there you can find some pieces uh, but mostly you will find them uh, in Italy. So Depop accounts or eBay.it, it's, uh, it's your friends in this case. 
So you can still find the belts. They, there's a couple of licensees that build them. Uh, it's a bit of confusion behind these brands, but basically you can still have them. Uh, the original ones, they, will, they would have the made in Oklahoma because they were originally imported from the States, but they're pre pretty much similar to the one, the one today. Uh, at the moment, I'm wearing one of the new ones. I'll show it to you. So you can see here, and this comes with a buckle. Uh, you want to wear these belts with buckles. Uh, they have to be either silver or gold. I know it sounds quite crazy. Uh, and going into the style, I would say that today you want to style them. You want to conceal them in a certain way. Back in the days, I think the beginning of the of the Paninaro movement. Uh, we were wearing, as we've seen with the Montclair, everything was kind of rolled up to showcase your belts. Um, today we're probably wearing, like with a tracker jacket like this one, it's probably fine to just have it like this way, you know, you can still see it if you need to, but not too much. Um, I wanted to talk also about a couple of, of pieces I've got from, uh, from the El Charro uh, time, as you can see here. It's pretty much the exact same uh, um, labeling that uh, a Virex or shot will use in the tank. Uh, it's so it's so weird because this is a large, but as we saw last week um, in my other videos, these type of items uh, they come in all sizes and they're always different. Like Best Company is one of them. We'll see whenever I'm gonna do a video on Best Company that uh, sizing is becomes really like a crazy, you know, uh, depending on the areas. So this one would be you probably seen in the short range. Rather this one. It's, I'm really, really attached to this piece because I used to have it exactly in uh, back in the days and I managed to find it actually here in the UK and it's this um, rose, which is the logo of El Charro, um, embroidered on top of the tracker jacket. I'm styling this one today with the, this is the 2018 Best Company, which the green kind of like matches with the, with the embroidery and with the other uh, puffer jacket. So yeah, that's it. I think that's it for today. Uh, I'll leave some, um, some useful link in the description down below. But if you feel like this is important to you, this content is something you, you're into it, uh, please consider subscribing. And uh, see you to the next one.